Now, Jimmy's a lucky guy. He got to go and have a look at the new SSL Live console over at Amber Technologies headquarters. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm really, really jealous. It looks like an amazing piece of work. Let's see what Jimmy had to say about it. Now imagine that you're SSL for a moment. You're not, but imagine that you decide to build a live mixing console. You hire some of the right people, you spend three years developing something brand new from the ground up, you bring in some of your favorite bits of some of your other consoles, and this is what you come up with. This is the SSL Live. This is a console that runs on Windows 7 embedded. Everything in the console runs at 96 kilohertz sample rate from the A to D's, through to the internal processing, which is all 64-bit floating point. Now that means you get way more headroom in the digital domain than you could conceivably ever hope to need. Um, I stuck 100 dB of gain on a channel just to see what it would do, and it just kept working and sounding good. It's fairly clear that this has sort of been built with live application in mind from the user interface through to things like the redundant power supplies not only in the console but redundant cabling to the stage boxes and redundant power supplies in those too. Now there's a heap of DSP inside here. Uh, you've got 192 processing paths of which 144 are full processing paths and in addition to that there are another 48 dry processing paths. The full ones all have things like uh, parametric EQ and dynamics and you can change the processing order. Uh, the dry paths give you a couple of insert points as well as a fader. In addition to that uh, something very specific for, for live applications is you've of course got an effects rack. Now that has six racks, each with 16 slots, and depending on how much CPU your, your effects use, you can actually potentially load that right up. Just like pretty much everything else, you can route any signal to or from that matrix, or indeed uh, from any insert point on any channel to anything anywhere in the console. It's pretty much you can route just about anything anywhere you need to. Now, as well as those 192 processing paths, which you use for things like channels, stems, auxiliaries, masters, you've got in addition to that a couple of solo buses, a couple of talkback paths, uh, as well as 36 matrixes, uh, each of which can have up to 32 inputs routed to it, and you can configure those into sub matrixes as well. Now, all of that is a whole lot of functionality, uh, and indeed, a poorly designed interface is going to make it very hard to get to those things quickly. Now, SSL have done their homework on this and they've gone for basically a multi tile based approach. You've got two tiles down here and a third optional tile up here. Each tile has five layers of five banks. So it's five by five by, in this case, three banks of 12 faders. So that's 75 banks of faders. There's a focus fader which follows whatever channel you've got selected. You've got a master fader, you can actually assign that to, uh, to lock onto any specific fader you like. It doesn't just have to be a master. Uh, both this and the main screen are multi-touch. So for things like EQ, if you want to change your bandwidth of a filter, that's just a, a pinch operation. Um, so two fingers. Very simple, very easy and very intuitive in general. You've got up to 32 analog input and outputs on the back of the console depending on configuration as well as uh, up to eight AES pairs, but you've also got the option for remote stage boxes. You can connect those either via MADI, which gives you 32 channels each direction, or via Blacklight, uh, which when you go via the SSL concentrator unit, allows you to connect up to eight stage boxes, each with redundancy. So that's the technical side of it. Loads of everything and pretty much anything you could want. How does it feel to use? Feels good. Uh, it feels surprisingly, uh, in a lot of ways, very analog for what is fundamentally a very digital device. So I've spent about two hours having a play around with this, uh, discovered a few other things. Um, latency from analog input to analog output is 1.48 milliseconds. I didn't discover that, I asked the question. Uh, you've got things like the SSL bus compressor, which you can insert uh, multiple instances of on whatever kind of signal path you want. Um, look, there, there is a lot to like about this desk. It, it sounds brilliant and usability wise, it, I wouldn't walk into it cold, but you know, I wouldn't walk into a, a situation with any large format digital console cold. Um, I'd do some research. I, I've spent a couple of hours and I'm pretty comfortable with this now. I, I'd take it to a gig tomorrow and, and be fairly happy that I wasn't going to land myself into too much trouble. And keeping in mind that you, know, you really are only as good as your last gig, that, that's a a fairly decent claim to make. 
Uh, and so, yeah, I think they've done well with the, the user interface. And um, I guess the other thing is that it, it sounds incredible. So there you go, SSL Live.